Yo, man, what's going on, guys? Talking about BJ Fisherman today. You already know. We on another brim run, but this time, this brim run, bro, it's going to be sick. We're going to my buddy Cody Pond, my boy Creek Life 843. We're going to go over there to the pond, respectfully knock on his parents' door, say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming to fish, catch and release only, and we're going to go tear them up. You know what I'm saying? That's anybody's pond you go to, I promise you guys. Any guys you go to, I don't care. Like, if you know you got permission, always go make sure you can fish the pond. Don't ever just walk on somebody's property just because you know them and just go fish away. Sometimes it works like that in case for some people, but some people not. So, you know, if y'all guys ever want to fish private holes, um, the key word is to always ask. You know what I'm saying? Keep your GoPro on you at all times because you never know what people's intentions are. I always keep my camera on me at all times on my chest because you never know. Like I say, people out these days, you know, if you walk up to their front there, they'll just shoot you for knocking. You know what I'm saying? So, um, to be on the safe side for all you content creators out here doing YouTube fishing, always keep your camera on you at all times whenever you're approaching a home because sometimes the camera kind of you know lowers their tone you know what i'm saying knowing that they're being watched so um I always do that man be on the safe side content creators because it's crazy out here nowadays but um yeah man we finna walk we finna go up to the door um although we do have permission to fish we're still finna knock and say hey let them know that we're out here we're fishing we're doing what we got to do to make content for you guys and we just gonna move from there but for now i'm finna go on walmart and show y'all what kind of bait something to use hopefully i can find some googan worms if that's the case thank god if not it's okay we get our regular 30 red worms um red veal or something like that but let's get out here let's go get them all right as you guys can see they do not have any googan worms A little look around, see if we need anything. Um, oh wow, I might have to grab me some of those, those are, they come in handy. Let's see, do we need any hooks? I think we got enough hooks for the most part. I feel like we got some brim hooks, should be good. We got split shots, and we're very low on quartz. Oh my god, they got them in, bro. I got the last pack, these are the ones I've been trying to hunt for, yo. Not those, not those. V. See, see the size on those compared to those? These are very hard to get in. They leave here as soon as they get here. Please tell me that's another pack of that. That's another pack? Bro, are you crazy? Are you serious? Bro, I just got two packs of these. I'm buying these. When you see them, you gotta buy it, buy it. See, we need anything else under that matter. What was that trail? Y'all did all right for the most part. I ain't do too good, but y'all did all right. Not too much, but we did get what we came here for. Need the course for sure. But to be on the safe side, these brim right here, they do munch a lot. So I might end up grabbing a pack of hooks. I'm not sure. Uh, might grab a pack. Let's see what we got over here. Let's see what kind of brim hooks we got over here for a decent price. Oh, those are trail hooks. I think we're gonna go with those. Just a dollar. Oh God, oh hold on. Wrong size. Wrong size, wrong size, wrong size. What size of these? Here we go. Here we go, size two. All right, should be good right there. Done shopping here. Let's go fish. Well, he took a piece of it. See, can we get one of them big pairs? Oh my God, I got that one. I got that one on record. That's a good one. That's a good one to start it off. 
Look at that nice little gill. Oh, I got just got spined. But that's a good one to start off. Throw him back. Use the same worm. Remember guys, you can always use the same worm. You got enough bait on the hook to last, use it till it's gone. See can we find another big one because them big girls came right from up under. Oh, we got one. Got one. But he's a teeny one. Catching a lot of small gill. That's a nice bait gill. But we ain't fishing for a lot. We ain't fishing with live bait today trying to catch bass. Probably gonna throw the chatter bait around a little bit. He got it. He got it. Look at him. Nice little running gear. Yeah, that's a lot of baby gear biting this bait, though. A lot of baby gear. Look at this. This feisty little baby gear, too. But yeah, the main goal out here today is to try to target some nice size, least no more than 16 ounce to a pound bluegill. That's what we chasing. That's our main goal for today. Try to hunt some big gear because it is some big gear in this pond. Like some nice gear. I done seen some big ones come out here. I done caught by the pound gear myself. See how this goes. Oh my, oh yeah. Okay, now that's a better fight one. That's a better fight one. Yeah, that's a better one. There we go, they're getting bigger. Okay. Okay, they're getting bigger. I'm hooking them at the tip of the nose. Or the jaw. Nice little one, but that's not what we targeting. Oh my God, that didn't take long. God, that didn't take long. That did not take long. That's a good one too. God, that didn't take long. Look at him. Oh, God, he came off. God, I was playing with him too much. God. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Look at him. Like the same one. Hook right where we want them, so we ain't gotta use the pliers. Right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Put a new worm on. Oh yeah, that's a good one. It's coming out. Yes sir. Yes sir, look at that. Golly, that's a good one. Oh yeah, they're getting bigger. That's a good thing. Oh, this one's some this one's somewhat kind of choked on it. But good thing he'll live. Got a little blood on me. This thing it was quick and easy, wasn't painful. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh he didn't run. Yeah, that's a good one. It's the best one of the day right here. Definitely is, though. Yes, sir. Gotta get the pliers to get that out. Oh, yeah. It's a good gill. Yeah, I'll scare her back. Yes, sir. God, we're getting bit. That's another good one. Good. Oh, yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, they choking it up under the bridge. They're choking it. She can, she can we go in front of the gill? Chug this way back there. There you go. Cut that out. Let's 
get that gear back. Well, guys, we got on them. Um, we said we was gonna switch tactics, try to get on the bass. We did have one bass to actually hit, but I wasn't quick enough to set the hook. So letting them run with it, cause you know some bass we didn't know if it was a big bass or a small bass. So I wanted to take my time with it, let them run with it. Hopefully he can swallow the whole gill, give me enough, give me enough room in his mouth to hook set. So, but we didn't get on that. That's okay. But we did get a couple brim for this quick little brim video. But hey, more content coming soon. Stay tuned. Better videos to come. Like I said, better camera quality as well. But hey, it's hot. We grinding. The bite is turned off and turned on. I don't know one minute they're biting, next minute they're not. Like I say, I think it's about time for us fishermen start waiting to it cool down a little bit. But hey, we're not worrying about that. Like I say, for you y'all guys that know me, I've been grinding this thing out since 2020. Sun, rain, sleet, snow, hail, anything you can think of, I grinded myself out in it. So it's a little hot right now. We're trying to keep from having a heat stroke. Y'all guys know I'm in trucker school, so I be in 100 degree weather every day on the airport, slab concrete. So yeah, I, <laughs> I think I'm not immune to it as, as of right now of being in school, being in that heat every day from no more than say about eight to two. So we finna go. Hope y'all guys enjoy this video. More content coming soon. Shout out to this place. Shout out to Cody and his father and his whole family for this. Appreciate this private area. I've been seeing this area for years, riding by, never knew who the property was. Gonna find out, close friend of mine. Thank God for him. So we got a place where we can come make content peacefully for y'all guys. Have a good time, do some challenges. Stay tuned, let's go. Until you next time.